God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. for my God. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. I have sunk into the mud of the deep, and there is no foothold. I have entered the waters of the deep, and the waves overwhelm me. I am wearied with all my crying. My throat is parched. My eyes are wasted away from looking for my God. More numerous than the hairs on my head are those who hate me without cause. Those who attack me with lies are too much for my strength. How can I restore what I have never stolen? O oh God, you know my sinful folly. My sins you can see. Let those who hope in you not be put to shame through me, Lord of hosts. Let not those who seek you be dismayed through me, God of Israel. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. When I afflict my soul with fasting, they make it a taunt against me. When I put on sackcloth in mourning, then they make me a byword, the gossip of men at the gates, the subject of drunkard songs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am worn out with crying, with, with longing, longing for, for my God. God. I needed food, and they gave me gall. I was parched with thirst, and they gave me vinegar. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favor. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Rescue me from sinking in the mud. Save me from my foes. Save me from the waters of the deep lest the waves overwhelm me. Do not let the deep engulf me, nor death close its mouth on me. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer quickly, for I am in distress. Come close to my soul and redeem me. 
Ransom me, pressed by my foes. You know how they taunt and deride me. My oppressors are all before you. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for compassion. For consolers, not one could I find. For food they gave me poison. In my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I needed food, and they gave me gall. I, I was, was parched, parched with thirst, thirst and, and they, they gave, gave me, me vinegar. vinegar. Seek the Lord, and you will live. As for me in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving, a gift pleasing God more than oxen, more than beasts prepared for sacrifice. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. For God will bring help to Zion, and rebuild the cities of Judah, and men shall dwell there in possession. The sons of his servants shall inherit it. Those who love his name shall dwell there. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Seek the Lord, and, and you, you will live. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. From the letter to the Hebrews. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession of faith. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness but one who was tempted in every way that we are, yet never sinned. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and favor and to find help in time of need. Every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with erring sinners, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. One does not take this honor on his own initiative, but only when called by God as Aaron was. Even Christ did not glorify himself with the office of high priest. He received it from the one who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to God, who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, designated by God as high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Though he was the Son of God, Christ learned obedience through what he suffered, 
And now, for all who obey him, he has become the source of eternal life. In the days of his earthly life, he prayed, crying aloud, and he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard. And now, for all who obey him, he has become the source of eternal life. From an Easter homily by St. Melito of Sardis, Bishop. There was much proclaimed by the prophets about the mystery of the Passover. That mystery is Christ, and to him be glory forever and ever. Amen. For the sake of suffering humanity, he came down from heaven to earth, clothed himself in that humanity in the virgin's womb, and was born a man. Having then a body capable of suffering, he took the pain of fallen man upon himself. He triumphed over the diseases of soul and body that were its cause, and by his spirit, which was incapable of dying, he dealt man's destroyer, death, a fatal blow. He was led forth like a lamb. He was slaughtered like a sheep. He ransomed us from our servitude to the world as he had ransomed Israel from the land of Egypt. He freed us from our slavery to the devil as he had freed Israel from the hand of Pharaoh. He sealed our souls with his own spirit and the members of our body with his own blood. He is the one who covered death with shame and cast the devil into mourning as Moses cast Pharaoh into mourning. He is the one who smote sin and robbed iniquity of offspring, as Moses robbed the Egyptians of their offspring. He is the one who brought us out of slavery into freedom, out of darkness into light, out of death into life, out of tyranny into an eternal kingdom, who made us a new priesthood, a people chosen to be his own forever. He is the Passover that is our salvation. It is he who endured every kind of suffering in all those who foreshadowed him. In Abel he was slain, in Isaac bound, in Jacob exiled, in Joseph sold, in Moses exposed to die. He was sacrificed in the Passover lamb, persecuted in David, dishonored in the prophets. It is he who was made man of the virgin, he who was hung on the tree. It is he who was buried in the earth, raised from the dead and taken up to the heights of heaven. He is the mute lamb, the slain lamb, the lamb born of Mary, the fair ewe. He was seized from the flock dragged off to be slaughtered, sacrificed in the evening, and buried at night. On the tree no bone of his was broken. In the earth his body knew no decay. He is the one who rose from the dead and who raised man from the depths of the tomb. Everyone has sinned and is deprived of God's glory. We are justified through the free gift of his grace, and through the redemption of Christ Jesus. God made Christ's sacrificial death the means of expiating the sins of all believers. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. God made Christ's sacrificial death the means of expiating the sins of all believers. Let us pray. God of infinite compassion, to love you is to be made holy. Fill our hearts with your love. By the death of your Son, you have given us hope born of faith. By his rising again, fulfill this hope in the perfect love of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.